needed to see me, sir? Uh, yes. Come on in, shut the door. What's this? Your new assignment. Lady in the chair? Is this some sort of joke? No joke. Just read it. Student goes missing. Is this another missing person case? Why can't you give this to Dave or Jen? Because Dave has a Tulsa Strangler to report, and Jen has the mayor's election. So that leaves you. But I want something big like they have. Not another missing person. Lisa, if you want to be some big, big shot reporter, then you got to report on anything that gets thrown your way. If you continue reading, there was 53 people missing in that area. The last being six days ago, by the river. The river? What river? We have a river? I don't even know where this Tahlequah is. It's a 45 minute drive from here, and it's Tahlequah. Now, go get some sources and get me that story. Have a bite to eat. I just got into town. I overheard you talking about someone going missing. The name's Lisa Hummings. Call me Megan. It's my friend Steve that's missing. He went searching for the lady and I should quit talking. Wait, please. What can you tell me about the lady in the chair? Why do you want to know so bad? I work for Daily News for you out of Tulsa. I'm trying to find everything I can about the missing people and the lady in the chair. Fine. I guess it'll help the officials find Steve. I'll tell you. <sighs> Thank you. So, there's this house out in the woods where this old lady lived. Um, and she became really ill. Her husband had passed away, and she couldn't take care of herself anymore. She didn't have any family left, and then one night, a couple of teens broke in and stole all of her jewelry. They pawned everything, and when they went home that night, the lady in the chair came for them. And the teens vanished without a trace. 
Okay, there, there's no way this is real. It is. And the worst part is that she sold her soul to the devil to seek revenge. Okay, now you lost me. I mean, really, the devil selling her soul? Like a crossroad deal? And then she floated away to their house to kill them. Mock if you want, but it's true. This is just some urban legend to scare children from going into the woods. Nice try. I'm out of here. It's the truth. Let her go. She'll believe. Eventually. Lady in the what? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. The what? Get out of my face. Sorry to keep you waiting, miss. Uh, Lisa. Lisa Hummings. Well, Lisa, what can I do for you today? Sir, I'm with the Daily News for You paper in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My boss wants to do a story on the missing people and the lady in the chair. Can you tell me anything? Like, who's the lady? And what about the missing students? Well, Lisa, Mr. McMurray was just reported missing six days ago. We haven't even been able to pinpoint the time he actually disappeared, so there's not much there to report on anyway. Um, so how about you do something else while you're in town? There's the Red Fern Festival this weekend. They expanded the fairground, so there'll be more, more stands, more activities. Even the raccoon hunt will be a uh, wider range than usual. I think your tabloids will love it. Sir, I can't go back empty-handed. This was assigned to me. I need this story. All right, I'll tell you what I know, which there's not much to go on. I mean, yes, we get missing person cases a lot, maybe even a bit more than most counties, but, I mean, it's just, just the way it is. We got mountains, we got lakes and rivers, we got animals such as mountain lions and black bears. I mean, people get lost, people get drunk and fall in the rivers, but these things happen. It's everyday life. But we have taken precautions to prevent further missing person cases, such as um, blocking off sections of the forest and um, adding more deputies on the highway, putting up signs, taping off areas. We're doing what we can to prevent these tragedies from happening further. But these things happen no matter what county you're in. It's nothing really to read or write about. If there's no connection with the missing people, why haven't you found any bodies in that area? And what about the lady? The lady? I mean, no more than the Bigfoot, I guess. I mean, there were plenty of old couples that lived out in, the, out in the woods. Many of them didn't have children or had children that moved to the big cities. So when they passed away, their properties laid unclaimed. Plenty of abandoned houses out there. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing much there. But there was this one couple, a notable couple in the late 60s that passed, no children. The land was bought by the bank. What was the names of the couple? The names? Jim and Beth Harris. How did they die? Sir, we got another report of a missing person. We have to cut this short. Lisa, don't go near the woods. Stay in town, you understand? Uh, okay, okay. Over here. Megan? Lisa, if you want to get the truth about the lady in the chair, then meet me at Norris Park. We can go look for Steve together. You're about the only person I trust. I hope to see you there, let's say 5 p.m. Megan. I'm game.
Do you really believe this old lady took Steve? I do. I mean, even if she was still alive, how would she have captured him? I'm not sure. Is that it? I believe so. Steve! Hey! Don't be loud! We're not supposed to be here! You're right. You're not supposed to be. What? I had to get you out here somehow. Lisa! I thought I told you to stay- Who's that? She's got a knife! Drop it! Lisa! Yeah, she's dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I just want to be left alone. But everyone keeps bothering me. How is this possible? You, you're dead! Again, I'm not dead. I'm alive. When I heard you were coming into town, I thought I might do something a little different. Like poor old Megger's here. She was so terrified of me. What did you do to her? I simply freed her from her suffering. You killed her. You're a monster! I'll show you.
place that's left of your body. You won't even know what happened, or even that you came to find me. Thank you.